Millions of people will have to pay an average of 2.7% more for train tickets from January. Train companies say it's the third year in a row that average fares have been held below RPI, but many commuters face an increase of more than £100 for annual passes. Absolutely shocking. If the service was better, you wouldn't mind paying a little bit more, but we're just paying much more money for the same or an even worse service. Our son lives in London, he has a friend whose uh, season ticket's just gone up by £2,000 a year. They've reduced the number of trains, so he now either has to go to work at 5 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock in the morning. I think it's normal for every year to go up, because that's what they do always. So 1st of January, so they always go up. So I'm kind of used to it by now, but yeah, I don't know what else we can do about it. Very unreliable, very, it's terrible, always late. Dirty, yeah, no space, and it's terrible. Like in Germany, it's like super modern, high tech, brand new, always on time, on the minute, and it's terrible here. I can't even take the bus here. Fares just go up year on year, and nothing seems to happen with the service. You hear about all the problems that everybody has traveling, the commuters, and everything else. I think what it needs is a nationalized train fare system rather than a nationalized system. It all seems to be about profit rather than service.